Introducing social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. I've always been interested in fashion. As cliche as it is, all girls grew up loving fashion, wanting to dress up. But I think mine was a little different because I always knew that I wanted to work in fashion. I didn't know where, I didn't know how, I didn't know what part of fashion, but I knew it had to be fashion. Hello, I'm Danny, and welcome to my Fashion Insider. My mom is in decorator, so she's very creative, and we were always creative in our house. But I, I still felt like I needed a normal degree, you know? So I said, um, I do something in communication because I was interested in PR, in advertising. So I did a degree in international communications um, from the University of Paris. And that was great for me because it helped me to figure out what part of communications I wanted to do. So I then I knew I wanted to do PR. I was an intern at this company called Fashion File and it was like a, a TV show and they basically go and cover fashion weeks and they were covering um, Paris Fashion Week and I went with the producer to the big shows like Chanel and Dior and Valentino and you know sitting there in the show you feel like you know it's just a, I feel like it's a complete world it's a different world than its own you know and I just felt like this was something that I, I had to be a part of I had to be a part of this world somehow I knew that my interest was not in design and it wasn't in creating items per se it was more of the business aspect of fashion so how to make fashion known you know um, so then I did a master's in, in fashion in London and that was good because it was a way for me to get really into fashion but not, not from, a, from, a, from an educational standpoint um, and that's why we say people you have to study it's not something I mean you can have a flair for it you can be you can be natural at it but I feel like there are things that have to be studied Actually, when I came back, I wasn't even trying to get a job in fashion at first. I had, I was applying to MTN and Coca-Cola, and just wanted to work in, in communications in, in you know, people say regular companies. I was saying, okay, fashion, I'm going to put on hold until I figure out exactly where I can make an impact in Nigeria. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm just going to do PR or, or work in communications for any other company. Um, but it, it just so happened that while I was applying to jobs and going on interviews, I met you know, this person and that person, you know, I started doing a few things and then that's pretty much how I started working with um, Joe by Lisa. We just happened to agree on the same thing, we had the same vision and I was, because I had always, my, 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 um, my goal is to build brands, so I was always coming from this perspective of taking a brand that is small but turning it into a luxury brand and, and seeing how it can grow further and pushing it globally, that's just has always been my main goal. The African fashion industry is growing, it's developing. Um, I love that we've gone from zero to 10 in the space of like three years. And I think there's so much more improvement. I love the fact that the global market has recognized or is currently recognizing that Africa is the next place. A lot of global brands are coming into Nigeria, into different parts of Africa, um, because they know that there's a market here, we have the population. The demand is here, I would say. The challenge I feel that young creative entrepreneurs face, um, especially in this industry, is having to convince people that it's actually a business, you know, it's not just a hobby. And it is really, for me, about growing the industry um, from the ground up. And I think another challenge in the industry that I work in, which is PR, is not having the right um, tools, not having the right forms of media um, to push brands. My aspirations for the African fashion industry is for local brands to be able to cross boundaries and cross borders without the African tag. My advice to anyone who is planning on getting into the industry or, or has a, an interest in fashion, I would say firstly have a natural desire for it. Um, but also I think back that up with education. I think the next thing to do would be to get some sort of experience. So whether it's oh, um, an internship or a proper job, I think that it's important to learn the craft. Um, so after studying it, learn it, you know, apply what you've studied. And I think wherever you go in, whatever market you're in, it's important to understand that market and apply all that you've learned, all that you've studied, all that you've experienced, putting the, all that together and I think you will be well on your way to accomplishing great things. <laughs>